Hey guys, this is Michael and I'm with a brand new person, Ivana. She's from Kentucky. We'll talk to her a little bit. Uh, we got the same setup as the last few videos, uh, two trot lines and a few limb lines. It's a beautiful day, kind of sunny, a little bit of wind. We got Daniel in tow and just wish us some luck. Alright guys, if you're not paying attention, uh, we go all the way down river, turn around, and we check everything on the way back up. That way I can be facing up river and not have to loop into everything. Ivana, I was talking to her, I usually would be like, hey, what kind of stuff is off limits? What can we talk about? And I couldn't really hear because of the motor most of the time, but I think she said she was in her 20s. I think you said you were single. Yes. I'm 27, I'm single. Several jobs, some very interesting jobs. One of them being, years ago, she took care of nuns. I sure did. While she worked her second job, which was, what do you call it these days? Um, We'll go with entertainer, right? It sounds professional. All right, yeah. uh, I've been watching this. I don't know, but be careful. This is a line that goes straight down. You're going to try to pick it up and put it in the boat. Okay. I could be wrong, but just kind of give it a tug. Yeah. Mm, I, don't, I think there's nothing on this bad boy. Oh, man. I would have sworn it was moving. All right, never mind. Did I just put it back just in? Drop it, yeah. All right. Now, that one is really shallow. It must have been that because it's barely under the water. Just I guess. Just kind of bobbing up. I guess the tree limb bobbed. Or maybe it caught something and let go. Because I was like, there's a fish on that first one. We got Daniel in tow behind us. He's kind of hiding. Just our safety person. Again, it's a beautiful afternoon here in Kentucky on the Green River. Checking limb lines, trot lines, and we threw that jug out as soon as we left, so it's actually floating toward us. Okay. And Ivana is the point person today here on Oakline and Chill. We, you know, try to do some kind of talk show interview. And we play uh, cash games if uh, we catch a big enough fish. One of them, Fish of Fortune. Hopefully we can do that. We also have a strike system. Five different strikes, and if she gets three, she's got to get wet. She can decide how. It's usually jumping in or a bucket. Just don't strike out. No, right, right. <laughs> like I said, I was watching these as we went down the river. Sometimes it's hard to tell. It's a little windy. but. No, gonna... you have good eyes. We're going to kind of come up and uh, check every one of these. Now this one's going to be longer than that last one. Okay. Just raise it. You probably could tell, but just so you can mm. see the hook. Okay, we got another empty hook, just it looks like. It. Try not to wrap your hand. No, okay, sorry. No, you didn't. I'm just rem reminding myself to tell you that. Because if with the motion of the boat or fish, you wrap your hands and it's kind of sometimes on, yeah. it'll pinch you. Try not to have any injuries. We had a few this year, nothing major, but I called, it, I called it the summer of blood. I got cut more than anybody though. From the fish or what? Fish hooks. Uh. The drone got me once. I have a drone. We'll, we'll pull the drone out. His name's Fago. He's kind of mean. Fago? Yeah. What's your favorite Fago? Hmm? Do you drink Fago? No, his name's Fago. Okay. I mean, I, I am a certified juggalo. Now. <laughs> I dressed up as uh, Shaggy Two Dope Two last year, though, for Halloween. So, I assume this okay, is one? Okay, so grab that line and just hold it. Okay, just hold it? Yeah, pull it up over the boat. Okay. And it's kind of awkward it's hard for me to tell you exactly how to do it but really... essentially the line has about 15 hooks it goes all the way to the other side of the river you'll see the first hook hold on 
you'll see the first hook when you come up. Each hook can have a fish. Okay, it's Daniel. I thought someone was coming. And, uh, and the idea is for you to try to, if there is a fish, to try to get it in the boat. No okay. matter if it's one pound or 50 pounds. And I'm going to talk to you and distract you the entire time. And so I'm now, just going to lightly kind of pull yeah, it in? Yeah, it's best to sit on the other side of the boat. That okay. way, because you're, you're going to have uh, hooks and sinkers. There's uh, five bricks out there. You'll, you'll come to a brick first. Okay. And just kind of pass those off. Try not to let them drag across the boat. And uh, hopefully we caught something. It feels a little heavy. It might be just because it's in no. there. It's Like I said, it's hard to tell well, initially. Okay, I found one brick. Yeah. Initially, it's hard for me to explain what a fish might feel like, but after a while, you'll feel the tugs. So just kind of pass those off, and Ooh. we're going to go all the way across the river. And I'm just going to ask you questions as we go. Hopefully, we catch something. It is a beautiful day, and we got a little cloud cover at this very moment. And Ivana is uh, the person I'm going to try to get to know in the next five minutes. What's your favorite color? Uh, orange. Orange? That's an interesting choice. Makes my eyes look nice. Oh, you like to, you like to wear orange. You know, I like green. That's my favorite color, but I can't say I like to wear it. It's just I like to look at it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> hey, green's second favorite. Yeah. Favorite food? Um, steak. You choose. Say again? Steak. Medium well. Oh yeah. Some homemade mashed potatoes. Do you put any uh, sauce on it or you eat it? Well listen, if the steak is cooked properly, you don't need no steak sauce, right? Yeah. I rarely, I don't ever do it. Actually, I don't care if it isn't cooked properly. I can't be caught putting sauce on my <laughs> steak. <laughs> well hey, that just means you're uh, well mannered. Have you seen anything on any of the hooks? I have not. Okay. Um, everything, it's, there's no bait or nothing on these yeah. bad boys. Now there's a fish called a gar out there that will come and steal our bait, which we can catch occasionally, so. You said we can catch one? Yeah, it's like a, it, it looks like a, it'll freak you out if you've never seen one. Is before. it like a snake looking? Yeah, no, it's just got a long, like, snout with, uh, bunch of teeth on it. Have you ever watched River Monsters with Jeremy Wade? Yeah, yeah. So I used to watch that a lot. I enjoyed yeah. uh He would he would catch some similar, probably much bigger than and we've caught that was actually a gar right there that just jumped. <laughs> I didn't get to see it but I did yeah, hear it. Pick it all the way up. I don't think there's anything on it. Uh one more hook that uh, you can't see, but I'm pretty sure just pick it all the way up. Just give it a hard pull. Alright, that's it. All right, we have a whole other trot line and a couple more limb lines up the way, but something that's age old, if we don't catch any fish, then I get a bucket of water over the head. Not happened yet this whole year. Ooh. And uh, we are 50% through this, so I'm in danger. crazy bird but we we got it done and we uh, have two limb lines and a, another trot line I have a lot of faith I'm actually gonna guarantee we catch something on these two well on the three options. before we get done okay. there is no way we won't catch anything so what's the last good movie you watched oh that's a good question. Um, Did you watch Mad the, Max Furiosa? You like that? I do. You ever watch the Mad Max? I series? never saw. I saw the first one. It, there was, there was the first one. There's the original one, yeah. Well, then, there's a, there was a one that came out not long ago, a remake. Yeah. I've um, seen that one. 
you did see like the most well not the newest newest but the remake yeah yeah um yeah they just created furiosa and it kind of goes backwards but it tells like the full story it was pretty good you didn't see the deadpool movie I'm not real into superhero movies. Uh, yeah, I, I would say if you're not into it, the, a lot of the jokes would escape you, but it's really not a superhero movie. No, and that's the newest one, right? Or are you talking about the first one? No, the one that just came out. With uh, Hugh Jackman? Me and, me and my son actually went to the movie. We hadn't been to the movies in a long time, but we went and watched it. Good. It's really good. I'm more into come from behind dramas though you know cinderella man gladiator shawshank redemption shawshank is great it's great i like a lot of action and comedy and horror um action is probably my favorite what is, what's an action movie you could think of um oh john wick you like the John Wicks? I did. And then there was a, it was kind of silly, but it was called Bullet Train on Netflix. It yeah, had that, a lot of good hitters in there. It was, uh, Brad Pitt. Yeah, it yeah. was funny. I don't think I saw it actually. I was going to. You should watch it. It is, it's worth it. Uh, and then there's, I think it's called The Glass Onion or something with Anthony Batista in it. And it's like a funny action movie itself. I haven't seen that one. Like I watch, you know, it's getting close to horror season, so I start getting into horror movies. And stuff. And actually, I watch Friday the Thirteenth movies for breakfast. See you. Because I'm a big Jason fan, but sometimes this time of year I try to actually have a little extra effort to uh, get into the, what's going on. Actually, uh, Ellie Church and Brian Williams are working together again. Uh, she was on the channel couple times in the last couple years. They are working on a new film. Uh, I, don't, I don't like to really say the name of films because I'm afraid they're going to change it, but it's Gush. And it's like a psycho sexual drama. I don't really know. Is it local? Like uh, local film? She's actually from Indiana, but they did uh, several movies and they, they're, I think they're working out in Atlanta now. That was my bad. They did Space Babes from Outer Space and Harvest Lake. And just, uh... Oh, we got one. All right, hold on. Let's be extremely careful. <laughs> See okay. that net behind you? Yeah. I'm going to try to get you to do it. Okay. I don't try not to let go of that main line and okay. scoop him. Hold on, I got a titty coming out. The reason I want you to be careful is because he might come off. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Just I got him. On. Just kind of get him over the edge and into the boat. Okay. It is. I can't tell. I think it's a channel cat. Should I take him off? I'll do it. Okay. Okay. And that is a fish. That's a very small fish. <laughs> hey, counts, that's so. okay. He looks no, good. It, when it, uh, it's a you ever watch uh, The Turtle Man? Yeah, he's. I actually have a picture. He was in Butler County not long ago. Well, it was a few years, but me and him were uh, standing right there in the, what they call Farm Boy Restaurant. Well, Ivana, keep keep going. Okay. Just make sure that last hit. We were in the Farm Boy Restaurant, and uh, Turtle Man was there. All right. Well, uh, freak luck. We caught a tiny fish. <laughs> oh. Now, we still have the jug coming, and I put a goldfish on it today, which is unusual. 